Oh, nice one. Nice one. Tennessee smallmouth, baby. Welcome back to another adventure. Super stoked today. I'm no longer in Arkansas. I'm in Tennessee with a good friend, Tyler. I'll link his channel in the description below. But he invited me out to do a overnight trip on his favorite stream in Tennessee. Now, I can't give away the information, but uh, it's a beautiful creek. I mean, the water clarity looks amazing. Well, with the wind ripping today, I am definitely going to start out with the spinner bait. It has not let me down here recently. Caught some bigs on it, caught a lot of smalls. So we're gonna put it to the test today in Tennessee and go from there. I also got some brand new baits. I got the Hercules four inch minnow by Z-Man. <laughs> it looks so good. I went to H24 Outdoors and kind of stocked up on some new stuff I've been wanting to try out. I've seen, you know, uh, Drew Gregory fish with and stuff like that. And also I have a jig on. I don't throw a lot of jigs because it's, it, I don't know if it's me and my hookups or what, but that jig looks juicy. I ordered these from uh, Supreme Jigs off of Etsy. And I just saw one of those Instagram ads and I was like, those look good. So I got about six of those. And it's just the perfect size. It's about a quarter of an ounce. And I have it paired with the Z-Man chunk bait uh, from H24 Outdoors. It just looks golden. So anyways, that's what I'm going to start out today. I'm going to start out with the spinner bait. Just try to find some fish. And then uh, if I get into a big hole, I'm definitely gonna drag that jig through that hole a little bit. So anyways, we're doing 10 miles total. We got five miles to cover today, and we're gonna cover the other five miles tomorrow. We have pre-front conditions, so tomorrow's probably gonna be a lot better fishing because it's gonna get cloudy, storms will be rolling in the next day. I think it's gonna be prime conditions. So anyway, stick with me, stay tuned, and I'll meet you downstream. Oh yeah, there's one. There's one. Old small mouth. There we go. Got some red eyes on. Came on the supreme jig. I'm gonna come down here and feed some. I got this rainy down through here. Oh yeah. To do your hunting stuff on. Uh huh. And I know I figured it's fish in it. Yeah, oh, yeah. this Somebody is good. Boy tell me you crawfish. Yeah, this is what that looks like. It's a little crawfish looking bait. Okay. But yeah, crawfish, you can't go wrong with crawfish. That's the delicacy for smallmouth, huh? Come on, we're going to camp on a little bit. I better not camp more. Than There's a the fish. Yeah. Uh oh, look at that. I one. I think it's a rock bass. I got some boys that's going to come down here, son. Rock bass. There's a fish. Another smallmouth. Just got a little smallmouth. Oh man! It's not a smallmouth, that's a huge rock bass. That thing's a slab right there. <laughs> that's huge. He wanted that uh, supreme jig right there. Choked it. Pop that out of there. I like these Supreme Jigs, they're perfect. That dude is a monster. <laughs> That's huge. All right, we'll let him go. There's fish. Oh, nice one. No, oh, did he come off? No, he's still on. Still on. Never mind, I just foul hooked him. Little rock bass. There's a fish. He came out and smacked it. There you go. These guys are big. <laughs> they feel like bass. Golly. These little creek bass are big. There you go. 
that's how I was. I know you are talking about. Well, a little time check for y'all. It's about 6.30. We got about an hour until sunset. So we want to go ahead and set up camp before it gets too dark. That way we can get our cooking going and get our tents up and everything like that before we lose daylight. The bite's been fair today. It hasn't been too good. I've caught a lot of uh, creek bass, rock bass, whatever you want to call them. But uh, caught one little smallmouth. But Tyler just caught a huge 17-inch smallmouth on a whopper plopper. Woo. We're gonna set up my tent. He's got a hammock tent and I'll show you what that looks like here soon. We got a late start today. It was about three o'clock when we started or maybe 3 30, 4 o'clock. So we had a good two hours to fish, but uh, we're starting to get into the good fishing areas. We're gonna save them for tomorrow. We got plenty of time to fish and break down all these holes tomorrow. So we want to save the good stuff until then. So anyways, we're gonna set up camp. Get that fire rolling for some uh, brats, and it's gonna be a good evening. I went to uh, H24 Outdoors and got this uh, brand new Eureka Mindori two person tent with the footprint and uh, he has a good uh, selection of these as well as a lot of other different camping stuff but uh yeah i'm pretty excited about this tent it's got a lot more airflow a lot more windows a lot more space so i'm uh, pretty stoked about this tent so check them out at h24 outdoors we're gonna go ahead and set up camp and uh, get this footprint down I'm not just saying this, but I already like this one more than the other one. Um, it has a door on each side. My other one only had a door on one side. So very limited as far as getting in and out of it. Um, so if you have two people for this tent, obviously you have your own door on each side, so it makes it super convenient. But this is what I really liked about it, especially for summer camping, was all this mesh. So if it's a hot summer night, this tent is gonna breathe way better than my other one. This is another reason why I like this tent. It's got this uh, nice uh, little vent right here for heat to rise in the tent and come out. Awesome feature. All right, she's all set up. I'll give you a little sneak peek inside. So like I said, there's double doors. And there's a lot of open space in here. Right there at that triangle at the top, there's actually a little uh, canopy you can hang there and store your wallet or cell phone, stuff like that. Um, right there, there's a corner pocket, corner pocket. So plenty of storage options. Anyways, I got my uh, Thermarest uh, rollout pillow. I got a 40 degree bag tonight and that still might be too warm. I got my Climate Static V uh, sleeping pad underneath. I got a get out camping blanket just in case. I want to sleep on top of my sleeping bag and just have a small layer over the top. Change of clothes in the corner and then my big 55 liter dry bag. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get uh, dinner rolling. I just wanted to show you just the inside view of this. Super easy to put up and I just love how open it is with all the extra mesh. That way it'll breathe a lot easier, especially that vent at the top where that uh, warmer air is going to escape. And uh, I'm going to let Tyler walk you through his setup. It is pretty awesome. I'm definitely going to look into investing in this, especially for those hot summer nights. But anyways, Tyler, what you got? We got the Free Soldier Rainfly. It's pretty easy to string up. And then a uh, Blue Ridge, or Ridge Outdoors, Pinnacle 180 sleeping bag. You're supposed to be able to kind of turn sideways and lay pretty flat. Um, 
saw that on a couple videos and like that so figured i'd get it and try it this is my first time using this setup uh, i set it up once in the backyard with the kids but this is my first time out on the water using it and pretty excited like the way it looks uh, keep keep you dry keep your stuff dry sets up real quick so i like it, I like it quite a bit shout out to uh, Bigfoot Bushcraft for hooking me up with this fire starter kit. I still have a 15% off discount code in the link in the description below if you're interested in this. These little fire plugs, waterproof, windproof, just great for the outdoors. First things first, you gotta loosen it up. We got it puffed up there in the middle. Go ahead and get it down in here in the kindling. Like I said, this is my second time using a striker like that, flint striker. And if I can do it, you can do it. 15% off in the description below. I don't know how I lucked out, but Tyler's in charge of our cooking. What you got for us tonight, man? We got some brats from Tall Grass up in Columbia, Tennessee. Uh, we got a Cajun bacon and then a breakfast burrito uh, brat. We got a little bit of mustard and some buns. Look at the size of those things. <laughs> be good to go. And he's got this cool little uh, fold-out grill system here. Um, I'll try to get the name and put it in the description below, but he just unfolded it and just fits inside these tubes here. And uh, you put it over top of these coals about to lay these brats on top of them. And it probably sits over the coals about, what, five inches, you say? Probably, yeah. Five, six. 